What is going on guys? My name is Dimitri and in this video, we're gonna dive into this free partner portal template here at Softer. At Softer, we get a lot of templates. We got so many different templates out there that it's almost overwhelming. Not in a bad way, in a good way. And that's why when you're oh so overwhelmed with all these different things, it's important to think about times when you could use a partner, like with this partner portal template. Partner portals overall allow companies, manufacturers, brokerages, and vendors to connect with their sales partners, distributors, retailers, and affiliates more easily. A partner relationship management platform can help the parent company and their sales partners in a variety of ways, such as providing product and sales training co-marketing assets, deal pipeline management, leads generation, and much more. So let's dive into this template. You can go to softer.io slash templates. And if we click on preview, you'll get a chance to look at it uh, prior to downloading. You'll see right here, it uh, has the ability for you to apply to be a partner. And I'm curious what the backend data looks like for this. So let's just take a look here. So I'm gonna use the template and I'm gonna pick my data source of choice. I have this Airtable that I have marked as my primary one. And I'm gonna copy the base to my Airtable account. Here we go, add base. Now, with this, you'll notice that we have a fair number of different tables here. So first we have products, then different leads. So just general context, partners, deals, some collateral, different news, training, and other line items. Now, these are all pretty interconnected. As you can see, they have a lot of different related records and fields to one another. So let's take a look at what this actually means inside of the platform, shall we? All right, so now that it's created, I'm gonna press go to application. And here is the partner portal that we can take a look into. So as you'll notice on the back end, we had the partners table, which is essentially gonna be the users table. You notice there are different types of partners right here. We got retailers and sales agents, distributors, and a few more. Like for example, Gucci Mane is a contractor. And if we wanna take a look at this through a couple different lenses, we can. Using the new and improved preview button here at Softer, you can take a look at this through a couple different lenses as a logged in user or as some of these other users that have different roles. So let's check it out as this contractor, Gucci Mane. I'll actually do that in a moment. I, I first want to showcase how on the outside, this partner portal allows for you to essentially click on this apply to be a partner. And then it sends you to a form. Now this form in the back end sends the data in the application form to our data source. You'll notice right here, which it does in fact take a hidden field, puts the value as waiting, which is smart considering they're not gonna have an answer until uh, it's actually checked on. You'll notice the person has to put in their name, email, password, and a bunch of other information. So you'll notice on the back end that these would get sent here. So if I were to apply there, it would then send me to waiting. And now, even as a non-logged in user, I still have the ability to take a look around the website, even look at the news page, which has some of the up-to-date news information. As we did see, uh, that was one of the tables inside of this template. But if I'm logged in, as can be done via pressing this login button, for example, say I was Dave and admin, you'll notice on the left here that now we have a different look to the entire thing. So if we click on this dashboard, for example, we'll now get a look at news as well. And then there are going to be some new partner applications for me to review. And this is on the partners page, which you'll notice if I go to the side here, this page from a setting standpoint and visibility is limited to admins only. And that's because admins are the only ones that are gonna be able to approve or deny people. So for example, I can take any of these partners who have been denied, waiting, whatever, I can approve them and do this via pressing approve right here or deny them. Now, say I change my mind on that, I also could just edit this and update the partner to then be waiting or something like that. Again, there's a little bit of information on the person that comes from this database from what they filled out. And if we wanted to, we could also filter by things like denied or awaiting and multiple at once. This is a multi-select. And we also, if I uncheck all these, and by default, there isn't anything filled out in there. So what I could do is I could just put, you know, like name, put a little update there. 
And then now when I type Helen out, it should search and filter to her through the search. So you'll see right here, now it does. Other things that I can do as an admin is just look at people. So if I click on this admin section right here, notice that I do have a view of all the different admins. This, once again, if we go to the settings and visibility, is limited to admin users. But we can look at partners, as we were just looking at before, different leads. And if I wanted to, as an admin, I can assign the leads as I see fit. So I can add a new admin here. I can add a new contact or lead here, and then I would place it within the system. Same goes for contacts. I do have the ability to add contacts that could be leads as well. And as an admin, I also have the ability to update this and add new products. As you can see, there's already a litany of different products here, but if I wanted to filter them out or look around, it's very easy with this single select on the side to select the different product type or search for something like black PLA or powder. If I were to adjust the settings in the back end, that would allow me to change between not just searching for name, searching for the different entities and properties of this. If I click within this, I now see some more info on the titanium powder, like the product ID, a little description, and whether I want to add this product to a deal. So I could add five to a deal for a specific line item. As you remember earlier, these line items are here, so I could add them to a deal. Now then that begs the question. Let's go to the deals page and you'll see what different deals are going on right now. So we have ones that are open, drafted, quoted, archived, and those all can be filtered as well and can be adjusted based on what partner did them. So for example, Dave, I just did a little one right here. You can click on the deal. And if I wanted to, I could add more line items. I could edit it. I could archive it. I could update any of the data of the deal right here or I can simply archive the deal. Now, it was really nice too, because on that Kanban board view, I do have the ability to drag these across as well. Drag this right here, and notice that it changes the property too. Then we have content and collateral. So this is a bunch of different resources that do exist, and as an admin, I can add them. Makes sense for an admin. And also edit what currently exists. These are pretty much just made up of, of links to different assets that are categorized and named. And if I press new resource here, you'll notice that there's a download link that's optional, um, but there are different categories to put them in. And then last but not least, if we take a look at the training section, you'll notice that if I click on one of these, it's actually embedded with a video, which is really nice. So what is selective laser, centering, you could learn some about that. And then if I want to view more about this, I can click on the bottom after reading the description, and I would see the entire training written about it with that video there at the bottom. If I press edit the article, I then could go through and edit this article. And right here, this link is what ends up making this video possible in the cover image and right there. Now, when it comes to Sam, who's an approved partner, it's a pretty similar experience. Um, the difference is that the people changes a lot. You'll notice that I don't, I'm not able to see the partners, admins, that kind of stuff. I just see leads and contacts here. And I also, while I can add new leads, and new contacts. Well, I can't add new leads. Contacts are right here, and I can interact with them in a similar way that the admins are. I just am not able to do what I'd mentioned prior. And I also can't add different collateral. Don't have the ability to edit trainings either. So overall, this partner portal did allow me to have varied levels of access that I really think were, were important to look at from the admin and the approved partner standpoint. Uh, there are many different people who would find this partner portal useful. So if you are one of those people, please make sure to check out this template at software.io slash templates. And if you like this video and want to see more, make sure to check out videos like this one on how to improve your skills using software even more.